And for more on this, we're joined now by a Republican senator from Iowa and member of the Senate Armed Services Committee, Joni Ernst. She's also chair of the Republican Policy Committee, coming to us from Simi Valley there at the Reagan Defense Forum. Senator, thank you for taking time. As we know, we are uh, uh, hearing that a lot of the attendees there talking about what is perceived in their latest survey to be the top threat of China. But before we get to that, let me just pick up where uh, Lucas Tomlinson at the White House was talking about, and then Greg Palcott in Israel. The situation now in Gaza, IDF going back in, going in in the south. Are you concerned that this administration is putting uh, restrictions that, that is holding back Israel and the IDF from doing what they need to do to eradicate Hamas? Griff, we should not be telling the idea of how they should run their campaigns any more than we would expect to have Israel tell the United States how we should run ours. So I think it's absolutely inappropriate for us to tell them how to win this war against Hamas. Well, we do know Hamas is the ones they perpetrated these crimes against innocent Israelis. Uh, they must be wiped off the face of the planet. The IDF will do that. I also held a bipartisan briefing this past week with the IDF general and spokesman from Israel, and they were able to clearly outline to both Democrats and Republicans in the Senate the extraordinary efforts the IDF goes to in order to prevent innocent civilian casualties in Gaza. Um, we also heard from members of Central Command, and it was good to have those briefings so that our representatives in Congress understand what truly is going on on the ground in Israel, in Gaza. So, Griff, absolutely, we should not be telling the IDF how they are going to win this war or um, what, uh, what restrictions should be placed upon them. Let's talk a little bit about what's happening there in Simi Valley where you are. And this was really an interesting survey uh, results that 74% uh, of the respondents asked in the Reagan National Defense Survey, how concerned are you about the next uh, threat in the next five years? And China was top of mind. Three out of four Americans worried about China as the top threat. Why is that when we've got a hot war in Israel, a hot war in Ukraine, we've got Iran proxies attacking U.S. personnel all across the Middle East? Griff, we see China absolutely everywhere. And it's not just kinetically through military actions. We see them invading in our economic space as well. We see them moving into South America, Central America. Uh, we see them in Europe. We see them in Africa. They are moving around the world. Literally, we see them in Iowa. So Iowans may not think about the South China Sea every single day, but what they do see, they see the theft of intellectual property when Chinese nationals come into our state and steal seed technology mm -hmm. for corn, for soybeans. So it, China, because of the inherently bad actions that they take around the globe, Americans notice that, whether it's through the military or other means. It's so, so this is concerning, and it shows. It's so fascinating that you're, you're pointing that out, Senator, because one part of this survey that really took me by surprise was 75%, full-on three out of four Americans, felt that China will surpass the U.S. as the world's superpower. Let me ask you, are you concerned? Are we going to see either next year, in five years, in our lifetimes, see China surpass the U.S. as the world's top superpower? Well, Griff, we need to invest heavily in technology in the United States. And we can do that by leveraging some taxpayer dollars with a lot of private investment. And, and we can do that. And I was just on a panel here at the Reagan National Defense Forum with Dr. Alex Karp of Palantir. They are leaders in the uh, artificial mm -hmm. intelligence space. He does a lot of defense work. He yep. was very optimistic. And I loved his message. <laughs> he believes that as Americans, we are going to 
overcome, it, we will continue to lead in this space. He will be on this program a little later in the hour with Jen Griffin yes. there. Let me ask you, before I run out of time, I've got about 30 seconds. Your fellow Senator Rand Paul saved your life using the Heimlich Maneuver. <laughs> yes. What happened? Yes. Oh, my goodness. I took a bite of steak sandwich and nothing against our cattlemen, but uh, choked on, on that bite of food. And Senator Rand Paul came right to the rescue. He knew immediately what to do and very grateful to Rand Paul. Thanks so much. Uh, actually, I was choking on those woke policies the Democrats are shoving down my throat. But, um, but truly, uh, thanks to Rand Paul for his quick actions. Sometimes it helps to have a doctor in Congress. <laughs> Senator Joni Ernst, live right, for us sure from does. Simi Valley. Thank you for your time and have a great continued weekend there in California. You bet. I should. You bet. Thanks, Griff. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmey. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.